Welcome to Fox 9. I'm Adam Klepp. As I mentioned, today, January 20th, marks two years since the first case of COVID-19 was confirmed in the U.S. The pandemic has impacted almost every aspect of American life since sweeping across the country soon after that first case. And on this two-year anniversary, the pandemic showing no signs of weakening here in the desert southwest. Cases across the two counties we cover on the rise. The California National Guard has been deployed in Imperial County to help with COVID-19 testing. Wiley Jahari leading off our coverage tonight from El Centro. Cases of COVID-19 are rising and healthcare workers are short-staffed, leaving long lines for those who are coming to get tested across the Imperial Valley. Governor Gavin Newsom has since deployed the National Guard. Long lines and a shortage of health care workers. The National Guard is back to help. Cal Guard soldiers and airmen have been mobilized pretty close to where they live. So they're living and serving in their communities. And I think it's been incredibly rewarding to offer this service to our community. The National Guard was activated last week. Governor Gavin Newsom activated 300 soldiers who are currently working in 65 sites statewide. After the first time, no, I honestly did not think that we would be called back up, but um, you know, I'm more than happy to help out my community. As of now, the National Guard is here in Imperial County and across the state of California, and they will remain until Governor Gavin Newsom says otherwise. 